Eric Moad with Mother.com. Just want to discuss another swing trade idea. It's a, a concept that I've been discussing with you guys for a while, but I like it because it's actually very simple. And so what we are talking about here is if we take a look at the RSI, let's say the RSI was bouncing on a line and finally it breaks out. So it becomes a buy at this point during the breakout and prices move higher. So, so we see here that after the breakout, prices will tend so the RSI breaks out and then we see that the price also starts accelerating to the upside so the price will start moving higher now there's at some point in er, in every blah, blah, blah. at some point there's going to be a pullback as is always the case and so the price will pull back now I've been discussing with you for a while that the best time to time a rebound after the pullback is wait for the stock to come back and hit this back test so the line extension, this line extension, wait for the stock to come back and hit this with uniform activity and bounce back. So it is that this activity here with uniform activity or maybe it could be a double bottom, it could be a U-type formation, whatever it is, you want the stock to come back to your back test line and hold and every time it hits this level here, it suggests to you that the stock is actually ready to bounce so what you are going to observe for a swing trade is that when it comes here stock is going to move higher and again at some point during the next bounce on the line if it's successful and holds above the line with uniform activity then you're going to see the stock also have another swing trade to the upside and also in this example here if it comes and holds support back above the line with uniform activity suggestion is that the price is also going to be moving higher so that's what we are looking for and so let's go to some examples because it's a very simple concept because I tend to see this a lot and I'm sure you can be seeing it in the charts you are looking at for some swing trade opportunities. The first one here is a weekly chart for ERY and you'll notice here that the blue line right here once the stock broke out or moved above this line here we can see that it moved the price from about 15 and all the way to about 28 29 about let's call it about 27 dollars somewhere in that range that was a good gain a couple of weeks now if you extend the same line you see that the stock has come back to show support it came close enough here for this small time low for a nice move from about let's call it about 17 all the way to about 24 dollars that's a big percentage gain and again it did this uh, about a couple of weeks ago when it came here, it hit the line again, giving investors another opportunity, this time at about 16 or 15.50, and the stock has gained 10 points since. So we see that that bounce on the line extension for a previous breakout line is what is actually has given this instrument and given traders an area where they could have gone long the instrument twice. So you can see one time here, during these lows and then another instant here during these lows both of them were successful now let's take a look at another example this time it's the X SPX and we are looking at this from a 10 minute excuse me a 5 minute 10, 10 day window so 5 minutes 10 day window alright so now we can see here that even on a smaller time frame we can use the same concept. We go back to a breakout recently which was somewhere here. So there was a nice, now on hindsight we can see that once price has moved above this line which is the previous line connecting the previous highs, that movement began the nice trade of this gap up situation here. So the S&P 500 gapped up there and then it immediately so now we are going to extend that line it immediately came and found support right there on the line which was during this nice lows since then the market hasn't looked back so we can already see that even on this chart it helped whoever was watching this recognize the opportunity that this was a nice entry because the stock held during this pullback here I hope you can see that on the chart Again, over the last couple of hours, the market during these lows here at the open came here and held support below the blue line and back above it. 
So we can see even today, the market came and hit that support level with uniform activity, holding steady there. And since then, the market has jumped off the lows. So we can see that this also makes sense on a smaller time frame. So now let's take a look at another example, SGYP. And we see here that this stock has had a nice run coming from the lows of about $3, $3.50 all the way to about $10 in under two months. Now on the hourly, and this is a hourly chart, I'm using RSI period of 26. What we are going to do is draw the breakout line of this gap up here. The stock hasn't looked back and so we can see that the breakout took place during this move here. The RSI broke out. So we can extend that line and we can see that the stock would go on twice to bounce on the line. Number one, it bounced off this line here with uniform activity during this period. Nice entry and the stock gapped up from 450 and didn't, hasn't looked back since then. In fact, went on the way to trade as high as $10. And now over the last day or two, or last, let's call it about week, it has come back here with uniform activity. It held that line and has bounced from about 750 to the highs here of about 970 for the day. So almost two, two, $2 gain after it hit this line of uniformity. So again, we see that you can also use this on the hourly, just as we have, we used it on the on this example on the weekly and also on the five minute chart. Now you can use this whenever you, you observe this type of situation where a stock is bouncing off that line from a previous breakout level. So let's take a look at an example here, NXPI. This is a five year weekly. Just gonna show you a line here that worked over a period of many years. So there was a breakout beginning of late 2012 and early 2013. So this RSI breakout began a nice move from about $25 to the current highs of above 115. And so if we can extend this same line it would look something like that. Now what I want to sensitize you to is take a look at this V-type formation, which really in essence is something similar to, let me see whether I can draw this correctly. So give me a second here. So it looks something similar to this. The stock is or moved below the line and back above it in a V-type formation, which is uniform activity. This is what I'm drawing here. So this period here becomes a buy signal once the stock moves back above the line with uniform activity just like it did here which was the perfect lows here at about again mid to high 20s and the stock would go on and has not looked back since we see another short term low here and that was predicted perfectly by the back test method because the stock came and found absolute support precisely hitting that point and bouncing off that point, which again is another form of uniform activity, which is this period here. So we can see that you can use this backtest method for swing trading whenever you observe it. If you observe it, it means something. Now I want to show you another way you can use this. And going back to the uniformity method again, we can see that in actuality, another way to take a look at this is there's a breakout here of this wedge. So in hindsight, there's this wedge. And ever since the stock moved above this wedge here, prices have gone on to explode higher and higher. Stock hasn't looked back. So we can generate a line from here like that. And without fail, this is a uniformity method. You can see that it bounced with a double bottom support here during this lows. Touch that line there, the green line, which is this perfect close on the weekly. Touch that line with uniform activity. And remember, markets, for some strange reason, have a memory on the charts. And again, it came here, kissed that line with uniform activity, which corresponded with those lows. And this week, we are seeing a 10% jump. Why? Because the stock held exactly on the green line and is now moving above 50 on the weekly RSI. As it moves above 50 on the weekly RSI, it is seeing this big move in the stock price. So we see that again, we can use the uniformity method to, to get a perfect entry in the current market. So using these lines that I'm drawing, the back test line here, 
gave you two nice entry points or you can always this is one of the best methods that I've seen for timing stocks somehow markets have a memory and you can see here you could have perfectly timed the lows of this stock going back many years in fact going back to 2012 so we're talking about more than three to four years where the stock has been coming back with success and showing support and bouncing if you use this either one of these two methods over the last four or five years this stock has been nothing but money eric muadhar muadhar.com as always good luck peace and blessings Woo! e i c s